Welcome Cancer, this is your reading now, still the sun in Leo and for that we have this uh, energy of the infinity, of the breath that brings the wishes, the stars down upon this earth and I'm in this infinite loop, in this infinite loop of creating constantly something new. This is the entrepreneur, this is the creative spark. This is coming down to us in this month, right? A lot of people are inspired in Leo season to do something new because they get the information in this month, right? And if you can see um, Leo has that power, has that energy, right? When Leo is now in this breath, right? The breath teaches us to expect, right, to take and to give. And the more we give, the more we can again expect or take. In this loop, there has to be an equal uh, energy. If we do a little bit, just a little bit of exhale, we will not be able to fully inhale. And it's not the other way around, right? So only if I really let go, give back that which I have gotten up from the celestial, up from the curtain, up from this place that you are connected to, this infinite curtain above you. If you know that there is the infinite spark, if you give that immediately back fully, it will come all the way back to you again. And this is when we now go to this card, right? You are the moon as well, right? Even though you are the Cancer card and you very psychic, you very connected to the spiritual, you are a healer, you successful in that intuitive empath kind of working with the element of water, right? And here the word Chet, right, is that fence that protects your chest. And you are through the water sign, right, today it rained. It's, it's very clear, the moon is in Cancer now and it started to rain. Before it was in Gemini and it was a clear sky, blue, beautiful day, now it rained. And it's beautiful too, it's good, it's cleansing, it's healing, and you can really feel it, right? So again, um, the Sphinx pulling, they're not attached, they're attached through the seventh chakra, through the intuition, through that higher consciousness, right? Here again, the sun with the wings flying, connecting to something higher than yourself, right? Then I have, of course, the yoga pose again, um, the high lounge. And in the high lounge, we can see I am balancing constantly. When I step the right foot back, next time I step the right foot forward, it's the other side. I, in yoga, trying all the time to do right and left side equal. Right, so here I am on the two wings, the sun in the middle and the lingam and the yoni as that empowered symbol here of unification. Half moon waning and waxing the constellation behind you as that circling universe, right? So you know exactly to step out of the hustle and bustle of the city, to get out into uh, a time frame that brings you to the stars, brings you to a level of connection with the celestial, with that curtain that is right here behind him, right? You holding that connection. You are the queen of cups in the court card. Again, look of from the 10th of June to the 12th of July. If your birthday is there, then you are the Queen of Cups. If not, show in the description box below again what your sign, uh, what your birthday is, right? What it falls in. Good. I'm taking the Lightseer Tarot 
deck, right? I ordered other cards, but right now I'm still working with them. And from the deck itself, we have the Three of Pentacles. This means cooperation. This means a community that works together to create this beautiful peace that they are having here. And this is your karma, right? This is the card right uh, underneath. You are entering a new dimension, a new path. Because you have come so far, you have done 0 to 10 from the Fool to this 10 of um, Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, right? And here you are now creating because you know, because you come from that, you creating a whole new community. And just look at the picture. It's a beautiful picture. It shows you that these people are in unison. Each one fulfills its part and through that they can create something bigger than themselves than one single person can do, right? When we step into a community, when we step into a cooperation, a teamwork, we are immediately bigger. We get inspired just by working with someone else, right? That's what happens with me. I'm right now preparing something and I don't want to do it al alone. And I do it with other people in cooperation. I work with others. And that gives me the power, right? That gives me the spark because together we can create something new. Now we have, I hope you're not hearing, uh, they're working here in the streets. I'm having a... Maybe I have to close the windows. Um, I think they're working in the street, actually. They are cutting down trees or something. <laughs> because things are growing here like crazy in Germany. Um, we have rain, then we have sun, and then we have the heat, and then we have rain again. I mean, it's very lush. It's very green. Good. So the first, the immediate past is the star card, the death card, and a new creation, a new spark. Right, so right now these two tell me that you are wanting to create in this new teamwork a, a new new idea, a new wish. At the same time, you're letting go of something that you know you have to let go so you can actually do this. Right, so you have this wish and this wish or this um, spark or this opportunity or this idea is immediately creating a transformation, is immediately creating an initiation in you. When we connect to something higher, to ourselves, and here you are connecting to that star, as you can see here in the seventh chakra, this is the star. This is this higher star, this higher spark. Right In the traditional card, there's eight stars, because it's, the star card is the number eight. And the eighth star is the earth star. And the other one is the seven chakras. And that's where you are coming in. The seven chakras. And now you go into the next star. You go into that next energy level. And immediately you transform yourself. Immediately you need to let go. Immediately you know you need to let go. Because then you get that creative idea. That spark. That's creating the next level right? That idea, that sexual uh, idea or that creative idea, sex and creativity is exactly the same. Someone that creates a painting in that moment, he's so at one with what he does. He's almost entering the zone, the flow, a sexual moment, a moment of I am becoming one with what I'm doing. That's what sexual energy is. We're becoming one with our partner. And that's exactly what's happening here in your next row. You have the lovers, you have the emperor, and then you have the tower. You already so far have one, two, three, four, five major arcana. So there is, right, including six with the wheel of fortune because it's underneath of the three of pentacles that means something very powerful is happening to you 
So here you are, right, in this extreme deep love connection because you got after the transformation the spark that sexual energy and here you are and had this entered this maybe with an aries right you are entering with an aries this incredible sexual uh, uh pleasure and you find with this partner or with um a Gemini, right? Either with a Gemini or with a with a, an Aries, you're finding something very powerful. But there is also something leaving. There's also something breaking apart. An unexpected change, an unexpected chaos, is breaking that apart. As I, I mean, it, just looking at it, it's like, wow. So this connection, this, either this Aries or this Gemini are breaking off. Maybe something is changing here. Something, and I hear there is something being cut away. You see that? It's like this this tower is not like the usual structure which is connected with this Aries. The structure is leaving. Something is leaving. Something needs to be cut away because it's it's dominating you. It's controlling you. And then the last row, we have two, that's why it's controlling you. You have two of swords, the king of wands, which is Leo this month, and yourself, the queen of cups. So you are here at a decision making, at a crossroad in this month or there's a new love that you need to decide for there's a new love there is a couple connecting there is a leo and a cancer coming together look at the dates at the description box below you have to make this difficult decision because she is looking at this tower even though she's not looking, she's blindfolded, but she feels this is happening. You need to get away. You need to get away from this controlling energy. Even though this could be um, soulmate material. This could be soulmate, soulmate material, but it's not aligning with you. There's something new coming in. There's something wanting to be transformed. And then this is happening. These two are coming out. The Leo and the Cancer. I'm not taking that yet. Okay. So let me see what the emperor has to say. Who is this emperor? In your deck what is his energy is his energy good should you stay with that or is it really like the tower which is exactly the structures that an emperor holds is that wanting to leave you 
is that needing to leave you because you really want to make a decision with the two of swords you have come a long way you have created an incredible energy and you thought this was your you know this is aquarius the age of aquarius and this is a scorpio Maybe there is. And you have Gemini and Aries in your life. Leo and Cancer. You have. The, maybe this is the community that you're in. In this community that you're in. That you created. Which is your karma to create this, this community. You have a, an, 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 Aqu uh, an Aquarius. You have a Scorpio. You have a Gemini. And you have an Aries, very clear, pulling at you, supporting you. And then something happens, something where you need to uh, change direction. It could also mean that in this month of August, you becoming more intuitive and you clearly set yourself apart from the rest of that you making decision to do your own thing to grow so the emperor got the eight of waters actually in reverse It was like this, the page of earth and the eight of waters. And the page of earth is that new spark, is that new way of creating a financial security for you. <clears throat> the eight of waters in reverse. The eight of waters in reverse is usually emotional moving on. And you need to move on to go and get a bigger meaning in your life. Something, yes, you're moving on from this. You want to come into a more innocent, younger way of doing things. And you feel that you, this is, definitely moving on right this is definitely saying okay i gotta move on reverse is that energy even more amplified and that's why you have this card so i want one more card for the two of swords Nine of fire, nine of spark. You want to create more and that structure that you were in is not helping you to do that. Because this is the entrepreneur, this is the next level of creating your own business. These two might be a real power couple. Allowing you to really say, I am changing, I am moving on, right? 
She's looking into the past and she's inside knowing the nine, the completion going the next level because you have this card. Because you have a karmic commitment to go to the 10, the fulfillment or the next level of creativity. So you, in this community that you created, which is uh, your karmic, yeah, it's your karma to do that. It's your sole purpose to create this group. And in this group are four powerful individuals, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, A Gemini, and an Aries. Very, very strong. Very, like, oof. Like power is, 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 is created here. There is a creative spark because interesting enough, in between them is this. So it could also be that this is a couple. <laughs> I'm just getting a download. This is a couple. And in between, is a sexual energy. I mean, hey, you know, everything possible. There is between these, right? Between an Aquarius and a Scorpio, between a Gemini and an Aries, there is this sexual spark this connection, you have like, you know, sex together. You're exchanging, you're swapping maybe, I don't know. Anything possible. If I go in the spiral, I have the creative spark and then I have um, underneath the tower and this creative or the sexual energy breaks off the relationship and forms a new one maybe you heal because here the nine of, of fire for this, right? Means there is this last push, this last spark. Nine is that once that holds the blindfold in front of his eyes, right? He's like, he's standing there with nine wands. And it's, he knows he has been wounded. He knows he needs to look deeper into his uh, sexual, anything sexual what we go through. Creative, our creative endeavor. And okay, because this is your central card, right? So maybe also there's an old structure leaving because right after comes the tower. And tower moment is structures leaving, things are going, it's it's finished, it's done. This is logos, this is the divine masculine, but also authority and power and 
being analytical and being very like you know overpowering he look at him i mean he sits in his mars throne kind of right he's the player and he can be intense he's logos and that needs to go that needs to make place for something young and fresh because that's what wants to move on it's necessary it's 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 due to leave and make place for this And this new awareness, right, in the center, this new, more gentle financial also awareness. I mean, he's very much into financial money and structures and how I make more money because he's the king of the kings. And now the page comes out and the page always is about a new perspective in the material world and that's exactly for him a new more gentle way approach working with the earth we need to move on right so like this you see the ship is coming and he's going he's taking that next journey that next emotional journey and it's still stuck So this emperor, right, is making you stuck and making you want to move on. And that move creates this tower, this chaos, because you don't want this intense energy anymore. You want more something gentle. You want something more gentle and it's moving. The universe is moving it for you. That brings the tower, that brings the chaos, that brings the change, that brings a new awareness. And in that new awareness, you start to realize that there is a crossroad for you, that there is a difficult choice to make. Because the old is not working anymore. This is not working anymore. But this, this beautiful, gentle, right? Gentle energy brings this new spark, this completion in. Look at the difference between these two. This is young, the young generation. This is old structure. It's too, too much. And it's because this young is coming. Otherwise I would say, great, if another card came, I would say, wow, yeah, amazing. He is in his power, but something not really, right? Something needs to go. Something needs to move on. I want to know if the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups is a couple. It's a new beginning. And I saw very quickly this card, a new beginning, yeah. A new beginning a new beginning into the messenger of water into a new path of love these two create for you a new path of love and as you can see the seahorse such a huge beautiful creature sweet and gentle and this new messenger, this knight of um, water, of, of cups, is Pisces. It's beginning something more gentle, emotional, fulfilling to come into your life. A new beginning. 
There's a new beginning happening between these two. Very clear. She is intuitive and he is the fire spark. It's the perfect, perfect energy, right? So there's a new beginning. There is a new beginning. There is definitely a new beginning on a soul level, a new awareness coming to you, a new start. And it's interesting in the German reading, there was also the fool. There was Aquarius. And there was Leo. And there was the Nine of Fire. Very similar, but still different, right? So the overall message for you is that you have to allow this change to transform you because there is something very, very special coming. There is a new beginning in this love or there's a transformation happening. If this Aries is not sitting just on his throne, doing nothing, then this, can, this transformation can happen. This emotional moving on can happen, depending on you, right? Because you have to make that decision. And behind you, the idea of why you want to make, have to make this decision and why it's difficult for me to make this decision is because you know that within you there is there is this creativity and you want to express it and I think you cannot express it anymore in the old in this old system that's why this is here I mean sorry I mean it's it is the tower is a very very strong this old structures are not working for you anymore and she knows she looks right because of course the card came after so this 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 is behind her and she doesn't see but she feels this creativeness this number nine this completion and here it is coming it is coming to her you want to change something it's 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 bothering you it's definitely bothering you and there is this the completion of the creativity of something special that you feel not being able to to do right this is separating you from what was before and there's something new coming and that new coming, that new relationship is here because of a new creative energy entrepreneur, right? You guys can create such a beautiful new business, both of you together. Great. And remember, the two here have a new path, a new beginning. You two will have a beautiful 
emotional fulfilling, a new beginning in the emotional fulfilling of this search for love, for true love. This will happen. The other one, there is something not it's not it's not it's it, it was great it was great to explore that but it needs to leave you want to experience a deeper love please let me know in the description yeah or let me let, leave me a message because for me it's always like wow this is like if this is reality does that exist you know i mean i can see there is it's a karmic energy because the ten of um, the ten of uh, coins or the wheel of fortune, right? More amazing. Just remember, right? That soulmate love sometimes can also be um, intense. It feels like you you got a new path coming you finished your your deal is finished with the soulmate love maybe it was between um a gemini and aries and you maybe you were in a relationship before or you had partners before i don't know i mean it really is like there's four powerful people there but something new wants to come to you, right? And this path is so beautiful. If I switch it, this path, she looks back and she knows there's something so much more beautiful coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being, working with yourself. Thank you for tuning in. And tomorrow is the new moon in Leo. I will do extra readings, short ones for all of the zodiac signs. Maybe that also is right. There is Leo, big healing happening in, big healing happening in the month of Leo. And a new beginning starting. Thank you. Namaste.